Hey guys, what is going on? Red Reaper. Oh my god, this asshole just interrupted me. He's using a freaking mic, bro. Shut up, man. Shut up. Alright. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, not welcome back, but anyways. Hey guys, Red Reaper Gaming here, and I got some cool. I got some cool gameplay for you guys today on uh, Operation Metro. We're just gonna be talking about some random things like how to stay alive long, how to stay alive longer in Battlefield, and like some cool tips and tricks that you can use to stay alive much longer in Battlefield. So a few tips, a few tips that I have for you guys today is just like this: use a cover. I mean, just use it wisely. When you're using cover, you have like a 50% chance of surviving any suppression surviving any suppression effects that you're taking some some uh, some suppression effects can affect you and can affect you and your aiming a lot like this guy's an idiot he just got shot right in the fucking face this guy's a moron I didn't even see that guy but don't be an idiot like me I mean just watch your corners and stuff and as you're taking cover I mean if you're being shot at don't stand there and just try to kill him because like he, there's there's more of a chance that he's gonna take you out than sorry what I mean to say is there's a better chance of him taking you out than you taking him out because if you're standing there and you've already done any damage to him he has more of a chance to, uh, to kill you depending on what type of weapon he's using whether it's a rifle whether it's a sniper I mean if it's sni if it's a sniper you're better off um, staying down staying low and taking cover as you're taking cover, you have more of a chance of staying alive and um, reducing um, the amount of deaths that you're taking, um, depending on which class you're using. I mean, whether, if you guys know what I mean. So. Sorry, I had to use my computer. So basically what I'm going to do is right now is I'm going to show you guys a few little cool tips and tricks. Uh, if you guys don't understand what I'm saying, I'm going to be, I'm going to shut up for a minute. The, bro, this guy's camping in the fucking ceiling. That, that's totally not my, like, look at this fucking loser. Anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to shut up for a few minutes, I'm going to shut up for a few minutes, guys, and I'm going to let you guys see what I mean by taking cover, and I'm going to show you guys how it can really affect you by what you're doing. And it can affect your playing habits in seconds. You'll turn, you'll turn your kill death ratio from like 0 0.56 to like 1.11, like I did in seconds, just by using this one tactic that I'm trying to tell you guys. All right, enjoy this. Enjoy a few seconds of me doing this. So basically what I'm doing right now is every time I try to cross this little canal, not canal, but every time I try to open, but every time I try to cross the space, I'm looking to see whether it's clear or not. If there's enemy, if there's enemies over there, um, the best, the best thing to, to do is just wait, just stand right here, and if you're trying to cross, you want to make sure it's clear before you go anywhere. If it's not clear, you have more of a chance of getting shot and taking a risk at getting killed. I'll show you guys right now. So right now, I don't want to cross because the left side is too risky, which is why I came over here in the first place. More, There's more guys over there, and more of them are getting shot. Like, there's some retard camping in the ceiling. God knows what he's doing, but he, I mean, he's not even playing the game properly, he's just trying to get kills, and I'm not looking for that. I mean, I want the kills for XP and that, but I'd rather play tactically like the way I'm playing right now. The more you play, the, the, uh, the more you play tactically, 
the better chance you have of surviving a full round and like reducing the amount of times you get killed in the game as long as you're paying attention. Like, I almost did not even see that guy. And because I was using cover, he almost killed me. If I hadn't have been taking cover there, he would not have killed me there. So I meant, sorry, what I meant to say is, if I had not have been using cover, he would have killed me there. Because there's guys, there's, uh, I'm, there's, all of our teammates are just flying blind over on the left side. And like, nobody can see, nobody can see a goddamn thing, honestly. Like, these guys are just walking out in the open, playing like it's just some, um, fantasy. But also, before I go and revive anybody, I want to make sure that the way is clear before I get myself killed. Just by trying to revive somebody. One, um, the, the best thing to do when playing as a medic is make sure that your way is clear before you go anywhere and trying to revive somebody. Just remember these things that I'm telling you. Because if you walk out in the open without making sure that the way is clear, you're going to have a, um, a hard time trying to revive anybody. I mean, I can't, I, I can't get those guys because the right side is... This side is infested with snipers and machine gunners, and I, I'm not taking the risk of getting shot. Even though, you, even though you think you may be able to do it, most of the times I think that myself, I always end up getting shot because I'm taking that risk. This time, I don't want to take the risk of getting shot. You'll see most players just wandering out in the open, doing random things, just you know, just trying to get kills. But now, now you can see that the way is clear. There's nobody there, and I have a clear passage. Before I do anything, I want to make sure this area is clear. And all, but also another another really good tactic to use when playing this game, guys, is by throwing down a med kit, especially when you're injured. But if you don't have a med kit, the best thing to do is use cover. Just stay down until your health is halfway full. Not even halfway full, just, just full. If you if you don't make sure that your health is high enough before you go up and try to shoot somebody again. Then you're gonna have, then you're gonna end up just getting a straight kill because I mean, if your health is at like ten percent, <laughs> you guys see that. But yeah, so you're gonna have a hard time trying to kill somebody, especially if your health is really low and trying to shoot somebody. I mean, I'm already four and two, so. Make sure you watch out for snipers and stuff too. The way looks clear, but also there's no, there's not really any good places to take cover around here. But also, as you're taking cover, you're you're enabling the enemy to up. pretty much, I guess you could say, like fall back. I guess you could say because as you're doing so, you're killing more of them, which allows your team to um, to push up more and. You're enabling your team. As every enemy, every, each and every enemy you kill, um, uh, ha has to wait like five seconds before they can spawn again. And every time that enemy has to spawn, they have to wait five seconds, which enables your team a good five seconds to um, take that flag. And more more team members you have at that flag, the faster you'll be able to take that flag away from the enemy. Which means that that flag can be yours in in a matter of seconds. And also, if you're using teamwork properly, then you'll be able to capture those flags much, much faster. Just always make sure that your corners are clear and that there's nobody around before you stay there and take cover. And a good place to take cover on Operation Metro, like a really good place that I like, is right over. Not, not even, not even right there. Just right. You, you just want to come. Some, sometimes I like to stay right around here, and other times I like it around here. Anybody coming up these stairs, you have a clear passageway. If anybody coming up the stairs, you can easily shoot them right there. And anybody coming up the stairs right here, you got a nice little passageway. Anybody coming from there, there. These are the only entrances up to um, position Bravo, which would be tough, which which would be Ticket Hall. And you have a clear passage of anybody coming up these stairs right here. But yeah, so it's a pretty good um, thing to eat. Yep, hang on! And you have a clear passageway of anybody coming up stairs. 
So, yeah, this, this is a great place. Not in the, We don't use the word camping in Battlefield, because there's no such thing as that. I mean, a lot of people like to sit in one place, using cover tactically, and taking anybody out that comes up any any place, because that's how you got your flag in Conquest, so it's not considered camping. So uh, if anybody sends you a message saying stop camping, just say it's Battlefield. You can't camp. When your screen goes all blurry and you're being fired at, that's an indication that you're being suppressed. And that's a good indication that you want to take cover quickly before you one before a round ends up hitting you as a shooting at you. I can't see shit because of the smoke crap. I mean, some guys, they, like, some guys just fire at nothing, honestly. Like, what the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, God. See, and that's a great indication that I've just shown you guys right there. Guy. I'm not sure if you guys seen him on the mini map. I'm not sure how good the camera view will be once I upload this video because I'm recording it right now, but it should be good. So, all right. Well, anyways, hopefully this video helped you out, guys. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel. Be sure to subscribe. Well, um, I want to reach 40 subscribers or even 35. So I'll be making another subscriber special. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And starting from now, like the video, subscribe if it's brand spanking new guys. And like always, guys, have a great day, mate.